In this application note, we will be creating an SG2 program and then loading the program into an SG2 programmable logic relay. For this example, we will be using the SG2-10HR-A programmable logic relay and the SG2 client 3.40 software version. The program will be written using the ladder logic format and will be loaded into the SG2-10HR-A using the SG2-ULink programming cable. The first step in the process is to create an SG2 program in the ladder logic format. To open the SG2 client software, select Windows Start, All Programs, then select the Tico folder, next select the SG2 client folder, and finally select the SG2 client software. Next, we will select the new ladder logic program button. Define the model type and press OK. When the new SG2 ladder logic program opens, the rung 1 column 1 box will be highlighted. Select the input contact icon from the ladder toolbar. Select rung 1 column 1 to place the contact. The edit contact window will open. Select the input contact element number from the drop down menu. In this example, we are using I01. Next, select the input contact STR element or STR not element. For this example, we are using the STR or normally open element. Select OK to place I01 into rung 1, column 1. The highlighted area will move to rung 1, column 3. The next step is to select the horizontal power line from the ladder toolbar. Select rung 1 column 3 to insert the horizontal power line into the program. To continue the horizontal power line across the first rung of the program, select rung 1 column 5. The highlighted box will now move to rung 1 column 7. Select the output contact coil from the ladder toolbar. Select Rung 1, Column 7 to insert the output coil. The Edit Contact Coil window will now open. Select your output coil number. We are using Q01 for this example. Next, we will select the output type. In this example, we will be using the General Use Output Type. Select OK to insert the Q01 output coil into the program. The highlighted box will now move to Rung 2, Column 1. The second step in this application note is to load the program into an SG2 programmable logic relay. The SG2 programmable relay should have power applied, the programming cable connected, and should be linked to the SG2 client software. First, select the right icon on the menu toolbar. A message window will open. Select Yes to continue. By selecting Yes, you will be erasing any existing program already in the unit. The program will now be written into the SG2 programmable logic relay. Select OK to close the window. You have successfully created an SG2 program and written the program into the SG2 programmable logic relay.